we celebrate the baptism of the Lord. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Almighty God, to you all our sorrow, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hidden. Bless the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal God, who at the baptism of Jesus revealed him to be your Son, anointing him with the Holy Spirit, Keep your children born of water and the Spirit faithful to their calling through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated for the reading. The first reading is taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 1, beginning at the first verse. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm this morning is Psalm number 29. Ascribe to the Lord, you gods, ascribe to the Lord. Glory and strength. Ascribe to, to the, the Lord, the glory of the name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is upon the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is a powerful voice. The voice of the Lord is a voice of splendor. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedar trees. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes, he makes Lebanon skip like a calf, and Mount Hermon like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord splits the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The, the voice of the Lord makes the old trees rot and strips the forest bare. And in the temple of the Lord all are crying glory. The Lord sits enthroned about the flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king forevermore. The Lord shall give strength to his people. The Lord shall give his people the blessing of peace. God of mystery and power, open our eyes to the flame of your love and open our ears to the thunder of your justice that we may receive your gifts of blessing and peace to the glory of your name through Jesus Christ, our Lord. The second reading is taken from the book of Acts, chapter 19, beginning at the first verse. While Paulus was in Corinth, Paul passed through the interior regions and came to Ephesus, where he found some disciples. He said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They replied, No, we have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. Then he said, Into what then were you baptized? They answered, Into John's baptism. Paul said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him. That is, in Jesus. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. When Paul had laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Altogether, there were about twelve of them. This is the word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. And also, also with you. you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, the one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven. You are my son, the beloved. With you, I am well pleased. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. It's not a wide river, the Jordan. It weaves its way through what we know as Israel, from the north to the south. Access is easy from so many places. Crowds of people can enter what could be cooling waters on a hot desert day. This day, this celebration of the baptism of our Lord, though, is more than about that, people cooling off. For people had heard this strange-looking man named John going about them, calling them into repentance and come into the waters. His cousin Jesus would respond as well, not that he needed to be asking for forgiveness, but certainly would identify with all of humankind by entering into those waters of baptism. He heard the words, come and be baptized, God loves you. This day is about the Spirit of God hovering not only over Jesus, but over each of us as well. It is a day that we are reminded of that reality. The Spirit of God hovering over, as she did at the beginning of creation. The wind of God that swept over the face of the waters, as Genesis notes, bringing you life, new beginnings, one hymn writer, Gordon Light. Oh, it's a shame we can't sing this today, but we will one day. Poetically speaks of God's Spirit and Jesus' baptism in one of the verses. Flying to the river, she waited circling high above the child now growing so full of grace. As he rose up from the water, she swept down from the sky and she carried him away in her embrace. That embrace would very quickly carry him to the desert. But that's the time we wait for some weeks from now. Those 40 days and 40 nights of prayer, loneliness, hunger, thirst, temptation, and wonder. 
Jesus' ministry was about to begin in a whole new way. Today is about all of that for Jesus and a reminder that it is for us as well. For I invite you not to think only of the baptism of Jesus so long ago, but of your own baptism, at least that would have been a little more recently. Most likely you were very, very, very young. There could be someone, and will be someone listening, who was an adult and baptized. But for the most part in our tradition, so many of us were babes in arms. And water carefully poured, of course, over one's head. And the priest or other minister quickly taking that little towel and wiping our foreheads and eyes. The baptismal gowns probably got a little splashed on them. And many would cry out. And parents, although many of them, somewhat a little embarrassed about it all, just wished it would be all over. I wish the party could begin, but we had a few more things to get through. What we're reminded about on this feast day of the baptism of our Lord is that as we rose up into the arms of parents and godparents perhaps, God's Spirit swept down then as well and carried each one of us away in her embrace and has embracing us ever since. I invite you to take time to be still, to listen for God's whisper, that one that Jesus heard as is recorded he heard that he was beloved. He heard that, oh, with you, I am well pleased. He was a young man, around 33 as that moment took place. But regardless of the age, isn't it nice to be told we're okay, that God loves us? We too are God's daughters and God's sons. And despite the scars within and without, we too are beloved. We need that reminder. We need that reminder of the holy embrace in all the places of our lives, especially as we continue to go through this COVID-19 desert. All can seem quite bleak. We are tired. We are not able to be with others as we once were. We are 10 days now into this new year and ever deeper into the desert. We do know loneliness, a certain hunger and thirst for a human touch and so much more. We know the temptations that abound, but we also know the moments of wonder, and yes, some sense of prayer, as Jesus did. For many years now, in the baptismal liturgy of our church, a little candle, a taper, has been lit and passed to the newly baptized. We would not light that candle as I'm doing from the gospel candle. This is traditionally called the gospel candle in our liturgy. But from the Easter candle, the Paschal candle, which stood by the font and does at each and every baptism over these many years. That whole Paschal candle, new life, new hope. And I and other priests would turn and say to the child or to the adult, I have baptized adults, receive the light of Christ to show that you have passed from darkness into light. 
A response comes forth that many of you will remember because you have been part of baptismal liturgies in our church services. We've done our best to get away with the quiet two o'clock one on a Sunday afternoon. And some of you wish we could still do them, of course. But the response comes forth. Let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Well, on this day, we were reminded of something special. For we are God's beloved as well, embraced by God's Spirit. So let your light, the light of Christ, shine through your word and deeds wherever the Spirit carries you. If in this dark time you may find it difficult to do so at any given moment, look for the light of another beloved on the journey. Who lets that light shine before you? Guides your way. And that light again enters your soul. Together, may we glorify God and grow, grow in knowing that we are beloved. As surely as Jesus heard that day so long ago, the Jordan River. Amen. In joyful expectation, let us pray to our Savior and Redeemer, saying, Lord Jesus, come soon. O wisdom from the mouth of the Most High, you reign over all things to the ends of the earth. Come and teach us how to live. Lord Jesus, come soon. O Lord and head of the house of Israel, you appeared to Moses in the fire of the burning bush, and you gave the law on Sinai. Come with outstretched arm and ransom us. Lord Jesus, come safely. O branch of Jesse, standing as a sign among the nations, all kings will keep silence before you, and all peoples will summon you to their aid. Come, set us free and delay no more. Lord Jesus, come safely. O key of David and scepter of the house of Israel, you open and none can shut. You shut and none can open. 
Come and free the captives from prison. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus come soon. O morning star, splendor of the light eternal and bright sun of righteousness, come and enlighten all who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death. Lord Jesus, come soon. O King of the nations, you alone can fulfill their desires. Cornerstone, you make opposing nations one. Come and save the creature you fashioned from clay. Lord Jesus, come soon. O Emmanuel, hope of the nations and their Savior, come and save us, Lord our God. Lord o Jesus, come save us. Dear friends in Christ, God is steadfast in love and infinite in mercy. He welcomes sinners and invites them to his table. Let us confess our sins, confident in God's forgiveness. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. God of life and freedom, we celebrate the revelation of Jesus as the Christ who makes all things new. Accept all we offer you this day and make us new in him, who is Lord forever and ever. Renew in us the joy of your salvation and make us a living sacrifice to you for the sake of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, may the peace of the Lord be always with you. The Lord be with you. Also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right, right to give our thanks, thanks and praise. It is indeed right that we should praise you, gracious God, for you created all things. You formed us in your own image. Male and female, you created us. When we turned away from you and sin, you did not cease to care for us but open a path of salvation for all people. You made a covenant with Israel and through your service Abraham and Sarah gave the promise of a blessing to all nations. Through Moses you led your people from bondage into freedom. Through the prophets you renewed your promise of salvation. Therefore with them and with all your saints who have served you in every age, we give thanks and raise our voices to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son of the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son of the highest. Holy God. 
God, source of life and goodness, all creation rightly gives you praise. In the fullness of time, you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Creator of all. He healed the sick and ate and drank with outcasts and sinners. He opened the eyes of the blind and proclaimed the good news of your kingdom to the poor and to those in need. In all things, he fulfilled your gracious will. On the night he gave himself to death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take and eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took a cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Whatever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Gracious God, his perfect sacrifice destroys the power of sin and death. By raising him to life, he gives us life forevermore. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Recalling his death, proclaiming his resurrection, and linking for his coming again in, again in glory, we offer to you, Lord, this bread and this cup. Send your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts, that all who eat and drink at this table may be one body and one holy people a living sacrifice in Jesus Christ our Lord. Through Christ, with Christ, and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor are yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. As our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break the bread of life, and that bread is the, that life is the life of the world. God, hear you among us, light in the midst of us. Bring us to light and life. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace.
let us pray. Gracious God, lover of all, by this sacrament you make us one family in Christ your Son, one in the sharing of his body and blood, one in the communion of the Spirit. Help us to grow in love for one another and come to the full maturity of the body of Christ. He asks this in his name. Amen. Glory to God, whose power worked in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and your minds in the knowledge and love of God and of God's Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you this day and always. Amen. 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 Let us depart in peace. Thanks. Amen. 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 Amen.